So there you have it. Overwatch 2 is coming out in 2022. Overwatch League is coming back in April of 2022. And it's going to be played on an early version of Overwatch 2. Yes, this is official. This is coming from Blizzard. A bit of a weird announcement, really, because this is coming from, like, random spokesmen and people from the Overwatch League and not actually from Blizzard. And it's all kind of weird. Uh, anyway, let's break all of this down in the video because there's quite a bit to go over and we're just going to just go. We're just going to get stuck into it because this is official, guys. This is from Blizzard. This isn't some crazy random leak. It's from Blizz. Right then. So this is John Spector. Now, what he says, so he's the Overwatch League vice president. He says, <laughs> I was about to choke. <laughs> he doesn't say he's going to choke. I'm choking. What the hell? I, I think I'm just... I'm like ridiculously excited because it's, it's the first bit of solid info we've got on Overwatch 2's release date. Anyway, I've seen a lot of speculation regarding a 2022 start date for Overwatch League. We can confirm that it is our plan to begin next season in April 2022. We will share more details about 2022 roster construction timeline soon and more info generally on our 2022 season. It's, it's so weird to say 2022. <laughs> As we get closer to April. So there you go. The plan there from John Spector, who is effectively running the Overwatch League, is to share more details. But the league is going to start in April 2022. This, of course, goes completely against what we heard before. The Overwatch League was going on a year-long hiatus. And we actually did cover that in a video, which would make sense if Overwatch 2 was delayed. But clearly, Overwatch 2 isn't delayed and it is coming out next year in some capacity. Although it must be said, Overwatch League is still suffering at the moment because it's lost even more sponsors. It's only got Coca-Cola and TeamSpeak left as sponsors of the league. So that's kind of a bit worrying there. Um, but okay, so this is an official Blizzard person. That's great. But the spokesperson, this is what they say. So this is Sean Collins. Now, he's a reporter for the Dallas uh, Morning News. Uh, and, and look at the difference here, what he says. And we've actually got two cases here because we've also got Liz Richardson, who's another reporter who's also been told the same thing so we can corroborate this evidence right it's not just some random <laughs> journalist going yeah I've, got, I've been told this by blizzard no there's multiple sources right then take a look at this so he says breaking the 2022 overwatch league season's plan is to be played on an early build of overwatch 2 a league spokesperson told the dallas morning news this morning that means a form of overwatch 2 will come by april 2022 there will be more details to come so just hold on to that thought because let's jump over to Liz. And Liz says this, I can confirm via an Overwatch League spokesperson that the 2022 season will begin on an early build of Overwatch 2. Wow. Okay. So what the hell does this mean? Because you can't like, uh, 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 does this mean we're going to get the beta at the end of this year? Well, it, it, surely it must do, right? Does it mean Overwatch 2 is going to launch in April next year? <gasps> uh, uh, probably not. Now, the reason for that, right? Okay. Maybe it will, maybe it won't. But you've got to think of it this way. So I took a step back from this because my initial reaction to this straight away is probably like everybody. It's like, oh my God, absolutely. This has got to be the case. Overwatch 2 is coming out next year. Yeah, okay, cool. And it's coming out in April because that's when Overwatch League is starting. But is it? So here's the thing, right? The game's two different things, isn't it? Overwatch 2 is basically the PvE element. However, Overwatch 2's PvP does have major changes. It's now 5v5, which means a load of balance changes need to be made and it'll have a bunch of new heroes. So... Can you release the PvP earlier on in the year and then do the full Overwatch 2 launch a bit later down the line? Or, and this is where I think we're going with this, if we stick on our clever hats and we try and break down what's going on here, I think that this might give us a very strong indicator into how Blizzard are actually going to launch Overwatch 2. I don't think they're going to just go, this is the launch date of Overwatch 2 and the game comes out. Looks to me like they're planning on drip feeding the content. So it's almost if they're just going to start updating Overwatch again and it'll be like, boom, here's the Overwatch 2 launch, but it's the PvP element going live. And then by the way, here's PvE content and here's some more PvE content and here's some more PvE content. And that way they're going to build up a cadence or a sort of update frequency to the game instead of just going... Here's a massive load of content. Now we've got to make more content. I bet you that's what they're doing. I absolutely bet you guys that's what they're doing. So we might see a world where we get a PvP beta for Overwatch 2 towards the end of this year or even early next year. Then that beta gets worked on by Blizz and then that gets pushed out in April as the official Overwatch League sort of client and then they start playing whatever they do with overwatch league we still don't know if overwatch league is going to be the same format it is this year or it's going to be different but what we do know is it's starting in april 2022 and it's using overwatch 2 right or an early build of overwatch 2 then after they start fine-tuning that and working on that then they maybe come out with a overwatch 2 pve update so what we might see guys here honestly 
is we get Overwatch 2 PvP launching April-ish or at some point next year. And then we get Overwatch 2 missions being added into the game. But at some point before all that happens, the game will have to convert to Overwatch 2, I'd imagine. So I think we can actually read quite a lot from this. I don't think this we can take it just face value and go, oh yeah, Overwatch 2 will be out in April. Because I don't think Overwatch 2 will be out in April. But that's if we apply old logic to the way you launch a game. That is, the whole game just comes out as if it's an expansion pack or it's the sequel. It's everything comes out. They may actually do it in this sort of fashion where they drip feed stuff. And that might be a good shout uh, going forward for the game. And of course, it'd probably be easier on the developers as well. Because if you just splurge all of your content... Well, then you need to go back to the drawing board and keep making content and you don't want any kind of gaps in what's going on. Imagine a world where they launch the PvP for April and then a month later, uh, maybe it's, I don't know, like a, a competition or a cup is finishing for Overwatch League and they use that as a platform to go, by the way, guys, here's Overwatch 2's first PvE element being added to the game. And then that turns out to be some sort of, I don't know, like, uh, well, it'll be a story mission, obviously, which pushes the story forward and then maybe a month later or two months later we get another update or maybe three months later we get another update new missions being added to the game that you have to buy now there is precedent for this um in blizzard if you look at hearthstone they have got a, a case where the game's free to play but you're buying adventure packs um you're, you're also buying card packs in the game but if you just ignore buying card packs you're buying the adventure packs which are pve experiences so is blizzard going to send overwatch 2 pvp free to play which they probably should i know there's a lot of cheater implications and, and stuff like that but if that happens you've got a bigger player base and then you sell them pve mission packs that you release periodically that might be the case there and this actually might point towards that or i could just be a madman going on a crazy goddamn ramble which wouldn't be the first time now i want to actually show you guys this as well so this is the article that liz richardson put up and this kind of just condenses what we've been over in the video and it's very white Good God. <laughs> so she says, representatives of the Overwatch League have confirmed that the fifth season will begin on time in April 2022. This revelation comes after numerous reports claim the League will be taking a long hiatus after its fourth season wraps up on sept September the 25th. A League spokesperson also said the season will begin on an early build of Overwatch 2, the series' long-awaited and heavily delayed sequel. Uh, yeah. I was going to say, can we really confirm that it's heavily delayed? But I mean, there's been a lot pointing towards that. Blizzard have never said it's heavily delayed because, of course, how can you delay something if it doesn't have a, a launch date? Like, that's Blizzard's ultimate, like, get out of jail card with this. But it probably has been delayed. Uh, we can confirm that our plan is to begin next season in April 2022, said John Spector, vice president of the Overwatch League. Uh, his confirmation comes after some sources claim the fifth season would be hindered by delays related to Overwatch 2. Many other sources suggest the league was still developing its 2022 plans. And then we get John's uh, uh, tweet there. Uh, and then it says, Overwatch 2 now appears to be less of a pain and more of a boon for the fifth season. The plan right now is for Overwatch League's 2020 season to begin on an early build of Overwatch 2, according to a league spokesperson. We have more details to share about this, uh, about our 2022 season as we get closer to the planned start date in April of next year. For now, details are few and far between. Spectre said in his tweet that details on roster construction timelines would be released soon, bringing a possible source of anxiety for players considering uh, Overwatch 2 switch to 5v5 competitive teams. Yeah. I mean, it's like, I'm just going to go back to this screen because that screen is too bright and it's killing my eyes. Um, yeah, this is, it's the it's confirmation that Overwatch 2 is coming out next year in some capacity. What we can sort of glean from this, I love that word, is maybe we get the beta towards the end of this year. Maybe we start getting more information. I mean, I'm going to be looking out for what Overwatch League has to say about this because like Liz says in her article, it, it is a boon for Overwatch League. Overwatch League needs content to the game that it's supposed to be an eSport of. And if that game is not being updated, then the game, it, it, it suffers irreparably almost in a lot of ways. So it needs Overwatch 2. But this is all very risky, isn't it? Because everything is being put in the basket of Overwatch 2 being a good game and not an absolute flop. Now I've got, I've got, I'm going to say this. I've literally made thousands of bloody videos on this game. I'm going to say I've got faith in them to make good stuff. But do we have faith in them to keep producing stuff frequently enough we're gonna have to wait and see but like i said in this video if they go down the route of you know what guys we're actually just gonna drip feed the content we've made and not just drop a massive splurge of content on players then maybe we do get that i don't know all right guys thanks for watching the video i hope you enjoyed that if you did remember you can follow me on everything which is at stylosa i'll catch you lovely lot on the next one doodaloo